Hey everybody, it's about five past six in the morning and I've just entered Open Gate in the Kruger National Park and I've got a long drive all the way down to Pretoria Skop in the far south where I'm going to do one of my Kruger camp reviews. So I thought what I'd do this morning, I'm just going to film everything I see and then share the highlights with you as a virtual safari. Let's go on a game drive. That's two of the big five in the first 30 minutes. Not a bad start. That was a very productive start on the H7 tar road, but I've turned off onto the S36 gravel road now, the bumpy one, and it runs all the way down towards Chokwan. And uh, I've had sort of mixed results here before. Sometimes it's very, very quiet. But I have seen some cool things like cheetah and wild dogs here before, as well as sable, so fingers crossed. Stopped here at Shimangwaneni Dam, just south of Mudzanzeni picnic site. And the last time I was here during the dry season, there was hardly any water, and I was lucky enough to see some lion and buffalo interaction, and even a young male lion trying to catch an impala. But now, after all the amazing rains that we've had this summer, the dam is very, very full and it's very lush. So there's only a couple of hippos here, one very sleepy one, and a few water buck as well. For now, I'm just going to have some coffee and some rusks, and then I'll head on further south. Oh wow, it looks like there might be another big herd of buffalo ahead. Man, I love these big herds of buffalo. This one must be about two or three hundred strong. There's all the incredible sounds and if you look at each one of them, every single face looks different. There's also loads of ox pickers around, so I'm going to try and get a little bit closer and hopefully be able to film one or two of the ox pickers. And what I always do when I find a big herd like this is I look out for the yellow-billed ox pickers. The red-billed ox pickers are very common, um, not only on buffalo, but on things like zebra, impala and giraffe. But these big herds of buffalo often have one or two pairs of yellow-billed ox pickers as well.
Man, I really, really enjoyed that buffalo sighting. I'm going to carry on now driving south on the S36. No signs of predators yet, but there's loads of big, beautiful marula trees. And I know I'm driving not far from the boundary of the Sabi Sands. So who knows, maybe we'll find a leopard resting in one of these branches. <laughs> Man, that's so funny. I'm having so much fun bird watching that I completely missed my turn off to stay on the S36 to carry on south towards Kukuza and I ended up on the S125 next to the Hinwase Sonsu River and it takes me east back to the main tar road so it looks like I'm gonna be eating some brunch at Sokwan. So I've just pulled over, someone apparently saw a leopard five minutes ago just off the road and I can see a carcass, it's quite dense in there but it looks like either a baby buffalo or maybe a big warthog, it's dark in colour and the meat is very fresh but no sign of the leopard. Oh man, this is so frustrating, I can hear the leopard, he's just behind this bush here, I can see a little bit of movement. I think he might be cleaning himself, but I just can't get a visual on him. Yes, and I've got so far to go to Pretoria Scop. I can't hang around here forever. We'll give it another five minutes. Yeah, no luck there, unfortunately. So I'm going to carry on further south and stop down at Chukwan. So unfortunately the big cats eluded me this morning. It's already quarter to 12. I'm nearly at Skukuza and it's very very hot outside so I doubt that I'm going to see any more action today. So if I don't find lions lying under a tree or maybe a leopard resting in a tree this is going to be the end of this virtual safari. Thank you so much for tuning in. A massive shout out to all my patrons for making this video possible. For those of you that don't know I've got a Patreon page where you can support the Safari Expert YouTube channel through a small monthly donation. And for that you'll get small rewards like early access to my videos, shout outs in the videos, some uh, beautiful animal photographs as wallpapers for your smartphone, as well as some behind the scenes footage and photographs. So go and check out the link at the top of the video description. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and feel free to leave any comments below. Until next time,